OK, now we know the concept of surface integrals and vector fields. We can use these to rewrite the laws of electric fields in a simpler way. And that's what Gauss's law is. This is actually a more fundamental version of Coulomb's law. So the basic idea is this. You take any closed surface, a sphere, a cube, anything that's a complete 3D surface, and you do a surface integral over it. So the surface integral of the electric field, so that's a vector field, times dot product, the normal vector at each point on the surface, times the small element of area, dA. And that is equal to the sum of the charge inside divided by epsilon naught. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So what's this telling us? Well, if there is no charge inside a particular volume, then the surface integral must be zero, no matter what the shape of the volume, no matter how much charge there is outside. And that's kind of what we saw in the previous video. It's because if you have charges outside, the electric field lines are going to go in one side and out the other. And so you'll get a negative and a positive contributions at the two opposite sides, which will cancel out. Yep, so this surface integral is going to be zero if there's no charge inside. If, on the other hand, there is charge inside, then you're going to get field lines going outwards all over the surface, which will not cancel out. And so you will get a positive surface integral. The normal vectors are uh, defined in this to point outwards. So they might go in this direction over here, that direction over there, and, and so on. What happens if you have a charge inside? Let's so say we have some volume here and a charge inside. If that was all there was to it, then the field would go out in all directions and give you a positive surface integral. What happens if you had another charge outside? Well, that makes no difference. The charge outside will change the electric field because it'll be adding together the electric field coming from it. But the additional electric field coming from outside cancels out. It has to go into and out of the surfaces, which will cancel out. So it makes no difference. It also makes no difference if we take the charge inside and, say, break it up into pieces, have one bit over here and one bit over there, rather than one twice as big in the middle. You can put the charge wherever you like, in little bits, in one big bit. You can move one bit to one place or another, and it makes no difference. If, for example, all the charge was down here, that's going to give you a very strong electric field along this bit, but quite a small area, and a weaker electric field, but a much bigger area down here. If you move the same thing to the middle, the electric field becomes more uniform everywhere, but the surface integral remains the same. OK, so that's Gauss's law. In the next few videos, we'll see how to actually use it.